All right, what's going on, man? Um, today I'm gonna tell you about my first homecoming, um, Franklin High School. Uh, shout out to everybody who graduated from Franklin. A special shout out to uh, the class of 2004. I see you out here. Um, so it was in uh, 2000. Dang, that's almost 20 years ago. Wow, man. You get know, yo. Um, so we was only a couple months in because uh, what homecoming happens? Um, what in October? So yeah, it was about a month and a half in the school. I hadn't really done anything, no skipping, nothing like that. I was pretty like just trying to keep my stuff together, or whatever. Um, my homecoming was big lit, man. And you know what? That's the only homecoming I really remember, actually. Well, you know what? I remember my senior year homecoming as well. But the day, as far as the day's events, oh man, I remember freshman year clearly. Um, so you, you, we start the day, we go to school, um, and all the periods were shortened because we were going to have an assembly. And we had an we had a morning assembly. So I remember uh, went down to the band room and band man. It took me forever to really admit that I'm a band geek. Um, it really took me up until my senior year to admit that I was a band geek. But uh, um, band was so popping. So everybody goes down there. And this is when everybody did band. There wasn't no like, ooh, the corny people did band or the geeks, whatever, did band. No, everybody was in band, man. You had athletes in band. You had the the quote cool people or, or whatever. Uh, everybody was in band, so um, band was popping. So we go down there, and um, we are going into the assembly. You know, we got to play for it, but we're going to wear our uniforms, not just like the ASB T-shirts. So we all getting dressed or whatever um, down there, kicking it. Uh, finally, it's time to go to the assembly. Um, so we walk out and, and we go down now. We go down to the gym, but we're waiting, you know, outside the gym while everybody else is going in and they're getting their seats or whatever. So we don't even, I don't even know what it looks like inside. Um, so then we're ready and we're going to march in and man, like marching band, man, I'm going I'm to do a whole nother story thing, you know, about marching band, but it was just, it was just lit. So about ready to go in drum majors give the whistles tweet 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 oh boy boy when them drums hit boy we got the uh 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 you know we got the popping shoulder popping get them knee high uh uh yeah yeah the knee high uh marching man so we marching in we go in i see the gym for the first time man it's just quakered out man black green white everywhere um streamers balloons uh man it was it was just crazy so we march in and we was i don't know what we was rolling my freshman year i want to say uh 95 or so um uh, my freshman year marching that that many um but anyway we march in to the gym we march around the gym in a circle and then go to our spots on the bleachers or whatever. Um, and that was just popping. And then they, you know, we had all the assembly activities. I, I don't remember what the activities were. I just remember I had the best time ever. Um, so we had a great time. We played, we danced, uh, you know, had games, all that good stuff. So we get out the assembly. At this time, it's like 1130 or something nobody trying to go to class you know what i'm saying so we, we we dip to the band room you know we all change out of our stuff or whatever and i'm like man i ain't never been around so much festivities during the school day you know what i mean so i'm trying to see what's up now at this point i wasn't i can't even say this point i was never i think what um you would consider cool in school you know what i mean i think that i i was cool by association my sister was popular, Megan, um, and everybody, all you know, all her friends knew me as, oh, that's Megan's little brother, CJ. You know what I'm saying? They, nobody really knew me as CJ. They, I was Megan's little brother. Um, or my best friend, Israel. Israel was uh, the, you know, uh, football player, you know, but he was in band as well. 
Um, but that was my that's my best friend. Um, and he was cool. So, you know, people that knew him, they didn't really know me. They knew, oh, that's Israel's friend, CJ. You know, so it was kind of that cool by association or whatever. But when it came to this particular time, I, I didn't know what to do. I was just like, oh, so much is happening. I just want to be a part of fun or whatever. Um, I happened to fall in with my sister and a couple other people from the band. Um, this girl, I don't remember what her name was. Tracy, Tracy, yeah. Um, she had a Land Rover. So we ended up, you know, just chilling out on the boulevard or whatever. And then she was like, y'all trying to go eat? And we was like, hell yeah, we trying to go eat. And then I had to stop and count the number of people versus the number of seats to make sure I was included in that. <laughs> but uh, I was, I was. So we get in that and uh, we dip out. This is the first time I had gotten in anybody's car in high school. You know what I'm saying? I was on the bus. Number 14, you know what it is. <laughs> um... So we get in there and then we driving down the boulevard. We take a couple paths down the boulevard because everybody's still just out kicking it or whatever. Um, so and not too. I mean, people had cars, but, you know, if you didn't have a car, you was trying to, you know, stunt as hard as you could. You'd be in the car be like, hey, drive around again. You had the windows down like, hey, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. So, um, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. And anyway, I didn't even have I, I didn't even have a middle seat. I had me a window seat. Your boy was out here. <laughs> but um so then eventually we leave this the campus and we go over to um Wendy's. So we had Wendy's um trying to trying to see what we can order and in real life me me and my sister was out there fronting. We ain't had no money. I mean we had a couple of dollars literally <laughs> people ordering meals we like ah what's that dollar menu hitting for what them nuggets talking about <laughs> so anyway we in the drive through and some song comes on the radio this is still when the radio you know what i'm saying the, the ipods and all that stuff i mean you could still have your tape you know what i'm saying you can plug your your disc man in <laughs> no 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 this was past that but the the whole aux cord with the phone now that wasn't a thing at all um cds were but we had the radio on and some song came on the radio and got us turned up but it really turned my sister all the way up okay she started hey that's my hey now the land rover had a sunroof so she like ah tracy open the sunroof open it yeah my sister was like hood ratchet Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> she like open the sunroof open the sunroof i'm finna get it so she opened the sunroof my sister pops her light skin ass out the top of the, the the land rover she's she's popping here's the thing only her upper half is outside the land rover her booty is inside subsequently i'm you know to the to the right and i'm like bruh you better stop popping that in my face that ain't what we finna do <laughs> <laughs> so I had to give her a, a, a what do you call a Charlie horse real quick Ugh, one of those I'm like man if you don't get that out of my face uh, not in her booty in her thigh that yeah okay let's move on from that you know what I'm thirsty commercial do you like pop tarts do you eat at delis if you want to wash it all down get your martinellis straight from the bottle i'm single okay i live by myself i can do what i want i can drink straight out the bottle if i feel like it and i don't care that it's 7 30 in the morning i do what i want i don't adult very well okay <laughs> let's uh back to it so yeah we so we get the food or whatever um and y'all ever notice man wendy's more than any other fast food place, Wendy's food all smells like merstiness. Them onions are potent, bro. So the whole car was disgustingly potent uh, with, you know, teenagers. First of all, we're teenagers and we all in marching bands and we was all out to ha, 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 ha
ha. But it, you know, but we were still cleanly and fresh. But you had some 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 Wendy's on top of that, and then you just get out the car as a team, bruh. <laughs> anyway. So we get the food, we go back, park, uh, you know, we at the school and we just kicking it on Boulevard. Just a day of just chilling. Security was around and they was just chilling with us. They was like, man, we understand what the day is. We ain't even going to stress y'all. Y'all go ahead and kick it. So that was just dope. Um, and then toward the end of the day, now we had actual band practice. We you know, don't skip that. We had a show that night. Yeah. So um, we go and... We go down to the field and we are practicing our field show, getting the stuff right. And it was looking good. I ain't going to hold you. So we do that. Um, and I was so we have this uh, uh, or had have, have had this song called Africano um, where you, you dance and you're doing a move with your instrument while you're playing. Um, and it's a very aggressive move. It, uh you got to master the timing of it. Uh, my freshman year, I hadn't mastered the timing yet. And in the rehearsal, the dress rehearsal for the show, I was trying to play my part and do the move. And I, everything wasn't secure. I busted the side of my face with, uh, yeah, I played the saxophone. So with uh, the mouthpiece just hitting me and I'm bleeding all out the side. I'm like, man, yeah, that, that was whack. That wasn't a good thing. But anyway, we finished up the rehearsal. We're, <laughs> we're walking back to the band room to put all our stuff away, and it's about to be the end of the, the school day. And uh, not, I'm not thinking anything. I, I walk back. Uh, we go inside. I walk, put my stuff away or whatever. Um, and just really quick, jumping to later that night, um, I just want to add this. <laughs> my sister said, hey, um... Raymond, which is my boy Israel, my boy Israel's brother's name is Raymond, that, his brother, uh, and he was in the band as well, and, and she said to me, Raymond came up to me and asked me why you were ignoring him, he was like, your, your brother's a jerk, why is he ignoring me, and she said, what, what do you mean he's ignoring you, what happened? <laughs> He said, we was walking back in and I was trying to get his attention and he wasn't answering me. I said, Clarence, Clarence, Clarence. And he just walked off and she said, I looked at him and said, his name's not Clarence. <laughs> he was like, oh. <laughs> But that's a testament to how unpopular I was. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so we go in, we put our stuff away. It's the end of the day. Um, but we don't feel like going home. We still want to kick it. So uh, we got in, you know, in Tracy's car again, and we just drove around the city, you know, for maybe an hour and a half. And then it was like, oh, okay. We do got a game tonight. I got to go home. I got to do some stuff. So she dropped us off at home, which was dope again, because, you know, I was about that bus life. Um, get ready. That night is the game. Go to the game. Man. That, man. OK, so there was hell of people. We were playing Garfield. So all y'all know that. Uh, well, if, if you don't know, um, Franklin and Garfield. Big rivalry for decades so excuse me so we uh this big rivalry homecoming um both teams are not that good <laughs> uh I'm sorry. And, and and my boys my boys you know some of my homies played on the team and i know y'all put your heart soul and sweat into playing and and i salute you I'm just saying, looking at the record, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But anyway, this game, we ended up winning that game, which was just whoo. And uh, the thing about uh, the band is, and this is okay, this is a really band geeky thing. We had hats, and you know, we have to march in with the hats or whatever. Marching out, if we win the game, we get to wear the hats backwards. Why that was such a huge deal in band, I have no idea. Well, you know what? I know why it was a huge deal in band, because we never got to do it. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No shots fired. I'm sorry. Uh, but so we got to wear the hats backwards and our show was great. The music was on point. Everything just was dope. We were marching out and we, ah, ah, we won. Ah, we beat the rivals. Ah, it's homecoming. Boy, I got so lit. Um, I got lightheaded. I literally almost passed out. I had to step out of the march out line and slow everything down. Um, it was a great time, man. It was the, uh, by far my favorite homecoming. Uh, of the two I can remember out of the four I've had. <laughs> um, and then to wrap it all up, uh, actually wasn't that exciting. Um, I had, we, my dad drove us home. The ride was like, nah, your, your time's up for the day. No more kicking it for you. <laughs> but man, I, I absolutely loved homecoming. Um, shout out to Franklin. Shout out to class of 2004, man.